To get started, click this drop down arrow by the AutoCAD icon, click New, and select ACAD 3D template for Imperial units and click Open. Now I'm going to open the two windows. So go to View and select Tile vertically. I'm going to move this one to the other side. So this is going to be my reference drawing. I'm just going to adjust the screen. And make sure to work on parallel projections. So click this drop down arrow here. Select parallel. And I'm going to bring my drawing to top view. So click custom view on top. So type L for line. So I'm going to draw a line from this corner up to this point for 50. And from here downward also 50. So type L or you can get line command from the draw panel. But I'm just going to type L. Click anywhere on the screen. And bring my cursor or your cursor upward for 50 units. You can use the wheel of the mouse to move your screen up and down and zoom in and zoom out. Just roll it while drawing. And 50. Downward for 50. And click that in point to close. I'm going to move this one somewhere here. And then another line from this corner to the right for 25 so L for line command in point for 25 bring it downward I could just track or type in 50 and click that in point and to draw the arc I could use arc or circle you can grab circle inside the draw panel or just type C for circle command click the midpoint and then click the end point now I'm going to trim. So type TR for trim command. Enter twice and just select this object here and this one. Now uh, we don't need this one. I could delete that. I'm going to join the segments. This one's here. So J for join command. Enter and select the segments. And enter again. Now this is one object. Now I'm going to draw a line from this corner to this point is 15 and 50 here and bring it upward again for 15. So type L for line command. Right click to enter and to specify first point don't click this in point yet. Just hover over. Don't click. So once you can see that square sign bring your cursor downward you can see that green dash line and enter 15 I just don't want to draw another line like I don't want lines to be overlapping it saves time it's up to you if you're not comfortable yet you can draw a line and click that intersection and enter same process here just hover over move your cursor upward and enter 15 and move your cursor to the right and click that perpendicular point or intersection all right now bring your drawing so to go to view controls bring your drawing to southwest isometric and extrude this one for 15 units which is the thickness as shown here from here up to here and um, which is also from this point to this point so select the object, go to the ribbon, and inside modeling panel, select extrude command, and bring your cursor downward for 15 units. I'm just going to turn off my grid. I could always move my object up above the XY plane later. So select that. And I'm going to extrude this portion here, which is this one here, which is also this one, looking from top view. And the height for that, when you're looking from 
this side going to that direction which is also this one from front view and the height for that is 30 see here so use press pull command instead of using rectangle draw rectangle here and extrude there's an easier way use press pull command from the ribbon inside the modeling panel and just hover over the rectangle here once it turns blue left click let go of your finger and bring your mouse upward for 30 units and same process here just hover over once it turns blue left click let go and bring your mouse upward for 30 units and enter I'm gonna do the same process here so move your drawing around by pressing shift key and the wheel of your mouse at the same time so you can you know move your object in different direction so I'm gonna draw a line from I'm just gonna create a line from this same process hover over and then move your cursor along the x-axis and I think the thickness is also 15 units and bring it down you know towards the y-axis and click that uh, perpendicular point and just use press pull command again hover over once it turns blue left click let go bring your cursor downward and enter 30 units now I'm gonna add arcs here this and this and from here to here now change the direction of your Z axis vector or Z axis vector and make it parallel to the extrusion to the direction of the extrusion of your arc or circle so in this case I'm gonna start from here so I'm just gonna click anywhere on the screen and move the the Z axis vector just follow that green dash line there and click and now I could draw a circle and use the center as midpoint and click that endpoint I'm gonna show you if the UCS is not in the proper place so I'm just gonna delete that maybe bring my Z axis vector upward or this direction here all right, so I'm gonna draw a circle. Click the midpoint. See the direction? It's following the, so this is gonna be the XY plane here. So XY plane, so the direction of the circle is going that way. So what you can do is change the circle, uh, the UCS, click anywhere and move the direction of the z axis vector to that direction so circle midpoint click that endpoint and extrude this one see the extrusion is along the z axis and click that uh, endpoint and same process here so now we have to change again the direction of the z axis vector parallel to the thickness here which is also the direction of the circle but you can skip doing that by clicking this um, dynamic UCS so you don't have to move your UCS all the time so circle and just hover over see you can see that uh, your dynamic UCS is on because uh, when, when you move your cursor here it's highlighted and click that endpoint and just snap that um, endpoint here extrude this one and snap that endpoint I'm just gonna copy this one from this quadrant to this endpoint there you go now I'm gonna join these are different objects here so, so to combine all the objects use union command inside the solid editing panel so this is the icon for union command 
and select everything now this is one object the next thing to do is uh, poke holes from here here downward and this one so now I'm gonna draw circles I don't have to move my UCS anymore since uh, this one is on as I mentioned earlier the dynamic UCS so uh, look at center so if you cannot see the center here just shift right click and select center and just move your cursor towards the end here and you can see that circle oh it's tricky with the uh, dynamic UCS once that color is gone then it's not functional anymore there you go just move around you can see that uh, there the circle and enter the radius for that is 10 so just enter 10 which is this one here another circle so this face see it's highlighted and just uh, move towards the end and you can see that cross sign it means it's center and then there's a circle that shows and enter 10 circle again and for this center here see that cross enter 10 to poke holes you can always extrude this one downward and then subtract command click the object you want to keep right click and select that uh, object you want to subtract but there is an easier way by using press pull command again so press pull from modeling panel just hover over that circle once it turns blue left click let go of your finger bring your cursor toward towards that direction left click again then created a hole same process here left click let go left click again and I think we're done I'm just gonna move this one and delete the guides so thanks for watching please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell icon to be notified for the next tutorial bye bye